understanding ourselves. One of the most heaviest tasks in our lives and also one of the most easiest. So, how to understand ourselves? First of all, we have to start observing ourselves, how we act in this life, how we act in relationship with other human beings and also how we act when we are alone. And you may think yourself, well, this is a very hard task, but actually it is very easy. So we will go into this how and why is it very important to understand yourself. So without further ado, let's do this together. So to inquire into all of this, we have to have an open mind. We have to be ready to inquire, not to accept or to discard, but actually to observe and see is there a truth in this. So to begin understanding ourselves, we have to first be aware. So how can I be aware? Well, how are you aware now? You just are. The difference is you give attention instead of concentration. Most of our lives we have learned to give concentration. That means exclude everything and focus on one thing. On the other side, attention. When you give attention, you are allowing everything. And there is no one who is giving attention. There is only attention. So if you see this a little bit, little bit confusing, let us clarify. The last moment when you were walking down the street and you look up at a beautiful sunset and you just looked, you have given complete attention to that sunset. Was there the one who was giving attention or there was only attention, only awareness? So, you see, you were completely there looking, observing at this marvelous sunset and there was no one to register that. The moment you have stopped observing, the ego come back and you said, wow, that was wonderful. That is the center. That is the ego. That is you as the ego. And this part, we have to understand if we want to have complete revolution inside of our human society. And why is it important that we change as a human beings? Well, just observe the world around you. Are you happy with the world that is right now? With the wars, with the hatred, without love? So, to start changing that, we have to change ourselves. And also, when we are changing ourselves, we are giving love to everyone, to our family, to our friends, and also they all change. Everything starts with you. So when you are changing yourself, you are changing the entire world. So to understand how you affect the world, we have to first see how the world affects you. When you were born into this world, you had memory from your ancestors. So that was conditioning. Millions of years of evolution, all wrapped up in one brain, and we all have the same brain. So we are born with some conditioning. And also, the way that you are raised, with the culture that you have been raised in, also with the nationality, and also the religion, everything has been conditioning you. And this conditioning has created the center, the ego. And ego is very important because it allows you to live in this world. But the problem is, all of this conditioning has, creating, has been creating the ego even more and more and more. So the more we have built this ego, the more we have isolated. And what happens when the person doesn't have an ego? Well, there was a last week one beautiful video from Papa G on our channel, I will link it somewhere here, where he said, when you come close eye to eye with someone, can you see them? Of course not, because there is no distance between you and this person. But when there is a distance, when there is isolation, then 
I can perceive you and you can perceive me. That is why the ego is necessary in this world. And be aware, you can never get rid of the ego. Because the ego is you, the part of you. What you can do is be aware of it. And we are coming to this part, how to change yourself, how to understand yourself. By giving attention in your life, by being aware of what you do and why are you doing, there will be mutation inside your brain. Your brain sense cells will change. They will be aligned differently so that you can see and learn from yourself. So, how do we start this process? Do we need the time for the change? We need only time to develop the skill of observation. That means, until now, we have learned all the time to think inside. Does the bird, when it wants to fly, has to think or it just do it? Does the fish that is swimming in the swarm does to have think should it go left or right? No, it happens automatically. Intelligence operates through them. So, the way that we have living, the conditioning has created this strong ego. And this ego has isolated us. And we have started doing only that which is brought by a thought. And the thought is very limited. Because it is collected from the knowledge of the past. And it is always past. So the ego is past. Everything that's happened, happened until now is the ego. But now, and the future is not included in the ego. So, we have to do a total change in the way that we are living. And this we can do only by giving attention, developing the skill of observation, and learning to observe without thinking. Yes, it can be done. Have you ever been, even for one second, without any thought? Yes, of course have you. Because you have seen that beautiful sunset, you have seen this beautiful mountain, you have seen the river, the animals, your loved ones. And when you were doing that, there was no one. There was no thinking. There was only this beauty. So the more you give attention, the more you develop this skill of observation. And you are learning the new way of living. In this living, the thought is not needed. It is only needed when you have to prepare something, like something in technological sense, where you actually have to think about how certain process goes and you have to plan what to do. But when that ends in our normal daily life, we do not need so much a thought. We need attention. And why this attention is so important? Because attention is love. When you give attention to someone, you are giving him or her or everything a love. So, when you listen, when you completely listen without any thoughts in your head, then you are in the now. And the past doesn't have a hold on you. So, if it was yesterday a bad day, something very bad happened, or it was raining, and today is the new day, can you live in that manner so that you let go of the rain of the yesterday and enjoy the sun of the now? No matter what happens next, stay always in the now, because psychological time is an illusion. We experience as human beings only now, and we will always experience now. We can think about past, we can remember the past, and we can mold it in the future, but it will always happen now. And this is very important. By giving attention, by developing the skill of observation, you stay in the now. And you are able to see what is really needed to be done without thinking. Because for a thought, you need a time. You have to think 
about what to do and this delays the intelligence and also the blocks the flow intelligence through you and the most perfect example of intelligence is when you see the danger then everything drops for example you see the snake that is going to bite you you drop all the pressure you drop everything and you are running away the intelligence has seen without any thought the danger and you have run away so in the manner of our living the total change will come when you stop thinking all the time and you give attention and observe without you commenting on it in your head without comparing it in your head all of this will allow you to live in a present moment free from the burdens of the past as always please give attention in your life test this for yourself is this really working give attention have fun with this and it is not hard because you need only to be mildly aware just like when you are if you are a man or a woman shaving your legs or man shaving his face you just have to give a little bit attention when you are doing the shaving but you can think about something else the same thing is with the observation in the relationship with other human beings you can have a conversation with someone but still be aware what is happening behind you why are you thinking the thoughts that you are thinking and be aware of them the more you are aware the more this thinking goes away and there is only reaction of true intelligence through you. Thank you for inquiring with me and until next video, try this for yourself. Infinite love.